Hello everyone. Welcome to KSR Data Vision. Myself SI Babu. Today I am going to explore about Power BI March 2025 updates. So let's jump into the Power BI blog. So here if you see this is the Power BI official updates blog. So we will provide this link in the description. So you can go through this March 2025 updates. So here if you see so there is a conference worldwide Power BI conference is happening. These are the four people they appeared for the final round. So the next if I come to version number this is the version number latest Power BI desktop version number and the date published is 30th March 2025 and these are the contents so they are uh, released in this month update so if you go to in depth so if you see desktop startup performance so here if you see new version it is taking only four seconds while coming to the old version of 4bi desktop it is taking eight seconds of time so i am requesting everyone to update your power bi desktop to the latest version so i'll come to the next point so here they are uh, given some updates about copilot and ai then if i come to down so here they are given some ad hoc calculation support for data questions if i see some in the reporting section there is a some new feature called data annotations in power bi for powerpoint this is in the preview mode like this there are a lot of updates in this march month updates so i am going to explore about few of the uh, major important updates so let's jump into the power bi desktop so if i come to the power bi desktop so, so the first point i am going to discuss about column highlights in the visual level calculations so let's see what is this so what i'll do i'll take a matrix chart so i'll take a matrix chart in the matrix chart what i'll do in the rows i'll drag month name i'll drag the month name and later in the values i can take the sales so here we have month name and sales month wise sales we have so in the columns so i'll take business segment so if i take business segment in the month wise a business segment wise we are getting the sales so for this my requirement is i need to calculate the running sum so for this what i will do click on this ellipsis so go to this new visual level calculation so here there is a option called running sum so here lot of options are there in that my requirement is i want to calculate running sum so i will click click on running sum so if i click on running sum so it is automatically showing one window appears here so in the running sum we need to give a one field so what is the field here we have the sales field so what we will do we will give sales so we will select sales once if we select the sales here if you observe there is a dotted line which is highlighting the sales in each and every business segment so the same functionality we will have in the microsoft excel so when we are doing any calculations it will show the highlighted cell so in the same way the same feature Microsoft people bring in to the Power BI desktop. So if you want to turn off this option, just here there is a button. So show matrix highlights. Just click on this, it will disable. See if you see now there is no highlights. So if you want to turn on, just you can click on this button. So if you click on this, so it is turned on. And as well as running some whatever the measure we are going to calculate, that that is also highlighted with some uh, thick line. So this is how you need to highlight the measures whatever you are going to calculate in the visual level calculations so then now click on so once if you click on okay the running total has came so this is about the first part i am talking about so column highlights in the visual level calculation so let's jump into the next topic so the next topic i am going to explore about new card exploration so in the new card this month microsoft people came up with a one update called small multiple headers let's see what is this so for this first what you have to do you need to drag a new card let's see there is a one more card is also there it is normal card so make sure that whatever the thunder symbol is on top of the card this is called new card just click on this new card so once we click on the new card so let's say in the new card so in the data for example i'll drag sales okay i'll drag sales in the data and in the categories what i will do i'll drag business segment so if i drag business segment so here it is showing accessories wise sales bikes wise sales clothing wise sales and one more thing is there components wise sales so how to bring these four in the one visual appearance go to format settings in the small multiples layout so here in the layout maximum small multiple shown by default new card will show the maximum small multiples three so if you want to increase 
so just click on this button so now it is showing all the four components now let me adjust height so now we are able to see the accessory wise sales bikes wise sales clothing wise sales and components wise sales in this in the small multiples layout there is a one option called a shape so i'll do this corners rounding so let's say i'll check it as a seven so here if you see the corner is rounded according to the pixels so this is about small multiples left so next let's go to reference labels in the reference labels what i will do i'll drag same period last year sales already i calculated this measure i'll drag same period last year sales so if i drag so this same period last year sales is fall behind the original sales amount but i want this in the right side of this sales amount so what i will do so in the sales i'll select all in the sales i'll select all so when i select all there is a option called options it is enabled so it is asking position so where you need to put this reference label so what is my requirement i need to put it on the right side of this sales so what i will do i'll click on this drop down and uh, we have only two options below call out and right side of call out call out is nothing but a this value so what i will do i'll click on the right side of the call out once if i click on the right side of the call out it is shifted from bottom to right side so next what i will do i'll select sales then i'll drag a uh, one more thing i already pre calculated the year over year growth then i'll drag this year over year growth so i'll drag this year over year growth and i'll decrease the size of the this call out value so let's uh, make it as a 35 so now it is fully visible so now what i will do i'll go to reference labels in the reference labels so what i will do i will change this background so for this here you can select all then you can come down if you come down here there is a option called background here there is a option called background under reference labels so under reference labels, just select black so if i select black so my reference labels disappeared so what i need to do i need to make it as a white so for this what i will do i'll select value to white so value came then i'll select title what is before this this is called title i'll select title also to white so now here we have accessories wise sales same period last year sales and year on year growth so now what i will do now i will come to the main topic so here what we are going to discuss about small multiples headers so this option microsoft people recently introduced in this month updates so small multiple header so click on this small multiple header in this so if you see this is called small multiple headers so currently it is positioned as left so if i want to move it to right so click on the right so now it is came to right so now i want this as a top if i click on top it will go and sit on the top so for now what i will do i will keep it as a left so for left so this axis is left so now what i will do it is horizontal that's why it is consuming more space so i want to rotate it 90 degrees how so in this options there is an option called position what is this there is an option called position there is an option called orientation so in the orientation you can click on this drop down here we have a lot of options so i'll click on rotate all text by 270 degrees so it is 270 degrees then horizontal if i click on horizontal it is horizontal so what i will do i will click on the rotate all text 90 degrees so if i click it is going to the accessories so what i will do i will select rotate all text to 270 degrees so it is accessories bikes clothing so this is fine now what i want to do i will apply some conditional formatting to this small multiples headers so for this what i will do i will apply conditional formatting to the background so for this here if you see title and in the title there is a background option so background option here currently it is white color so if i change to light blue it is automatically changed to light blue but i don't want this i want it should be dynamic for this what i will do based on the year over year sales growth i created a one conditional formatting if the percentage is less than 0 0.50 means 50 percent it is show background color as a red if the percentage is less than 70 percent it is shows blue else it is greater than 70 it is green so in that case let's say 42 should fall under red color this 50.48 and 52.49 come as a blue color and this 76.73 background color it can show as a green color let's implement so for this what you need to do click on this fx symbol just click on this fx so once if you click on this here there will be a one window pop up in this format style here you have a lot of options so already i written a measure for what i will do i'll click on the field value so based on what field value you should format so already i 
return a one measure click on this all data in the key measures so error year growth conditional formatting measure what i will do i'll select this conditional formatting measure and click on ok so if i click on ok see based on my measure so it is less than 50 percent that's why it is highlighted by white it is greater than 70 that's why it is showing as a green background it is in between the 50 and 70 that's why it is showing as the light blue color so so now here we change the background of this small multiples headers color so for example i want to see this growth uh, uh, text also in the uh, conditional formatting for this what you need to do just click on this go to the formatting settings in the reference labels so here select sales once you select the sales here the two values will show in the select label already it is selected year or year growth so while selecting this go to this value here there is a fx symbol so click on the fx symbol so repeat the same process go to this format style and click on this field value so select your conditional formatting measure so now i'll select my conditional formatting measure and i'll click ok so if i click ok see automatically this value also change it to the color according to the that uh, conditional formatting so i'll click on bold if i click on bold so it is see green green so what it will happen in future after two years so based on the euro rear growth it should fall under red color it should fall under green color or else it should fall under green color so this is about small multiple headers so it is a very very helpful feature in real time if we implement it is very very helpful so this is about a second major update in this month so let's jump into the another topic so the next important update is reference lines shading so what is this reference lines shading so let's see so what i will do i'll add a one scatter chart so if i add this scatter chart in this what i will do in the x axis i'll drag sales in the y axis i'll drag profit okay so next i'll take legend as a business segment and in the values i'll drag category so once i drag the category and i'll give size also the size will be the i'll take order quantity so once if i take here we are comparing sales versus profit by using the order quantity as a size with respect to the business segment legend and category so here suppose i want to see the average sales median line so average sales line so for this what you need to do if you want to add any reference lines there is a option in power bi you can go to this further analysis to the your usual it is a forecast symbol click on this one once if you click here there are lot of options you can add constant line you can add y-axis constant line minimum line maximum line average median percentage so what i will do i'll select average line and i'll click on the add line once if i click on the add line so by default it is automatically taking the sales so in the x-axis we have sales if you want to take profit you can select profit this is the profit average line so what i will do i'll select sales in the sales what i will do so this is the newly came up the update this shade area so click on this shade area once you, if you click so so it is showing before after so before means this is the average line before average line before if you want to see this as after click on this after it can show this side so i don't want to see after what i will do i'll click before once if you click before then this is one and this a shading is on top of this bubble i don't want to see this shading on top of this bubble i'll push this to back of this bubble so for this what i will do here there is an option called position in the position click position and click on this behind once if you click see this is pushed to the on behind this bubbles so this is one thing so if you want to turn on this reference line labels just scroll down there is a option called data label so if you click on data label so it is showing only value but i need this what is this line what is this representing for this click on this style in the style we have three options we can show data value we can show name only we can show both so i'll select both if i select both it is showing average line what is this average line what i will do here i'll rename click on this pencil icon so here what i will do sales sales average line so now it is perfect sales average line so what i will do i'll change the font color and if i change the font color so it is clearly saying this is the average line so for example let's say i want to add maximum line so for this what i will do i'll go to this maximum line options in this i can click on the add line so if i once i add this line i'll rename this sales maximum line so after renaming in this so 
I can select this something different color. I can select orange color. So once if you select, so here I can turn on shade area. So once if you turn on, it is automatically taking the before. But this is something not looks good. And also it is overlapping. Sir, for this, I want to see what is the sales and uh, this profit is after the maximum line. So for this, what we will do in the shade area, you can click after. Once if you click after, it is showing only after the maximum line. So I will push this to the back of this bubbles. So for this, what I will do, I will click in the position behind. Once if you click position behind, so it is pushed to the back. So I will change the color also to this light orange color. So once this is the maximum line, so I will turn on data label also. If once I turn on the data label, it is showing the value and I want both. So in the style, I will select both and I will select this color also so to do something dark blue dark blue or uh, something maximum line let's say for example i'll select some green color i'll select green color so this is maximum line so how it is helpful in our real time if you see if your client want to see the average line just if you display line it is very hard to catch the eye attention so where it is this line so if we highlight with some shading colors so it is easily uh, we can catch okay this is the average reference line this is the below the average difference line. these are the values comes under this average line and these are the values comes under above the maximum line this is how it is helpful in real time so this is about reference line shading so let's cap what today i discussed so if you come to first i discussed about column level highlights in the visual level calculation then followed by i shown how we can explore about new card in especially small multiple headers and how we can use conditional formatting and how we can use a conditional formatting in the reference labels and last but not least so i explained about reference lines shading so now let's jump into the blog so in the blog if you see whatever the contents you please request everyone please go through this so if you go through this already they provided some sample v2 videos and all everything is there so if you see ad hoc calculations and co-pilots updates and powerpoint updates so and object name updates so if i come to here so whatever i taught in this video the same thing running some they calculated it is highlighting and the reference lines for time constraint i explained only scatter chart but it is supported to waterfall chart and area chart and line and tracked column chart so you can explore more by going through this this blog so thank you all for watching this video i hope everyone you will like share comment this video please subscribe to ksr data vision youtube channel thank you all we'll meet you in the next video